is a shame. I was quite looking forward to witnessing your futile antics firsthand last night. I must say, I expected quite a bit more from the infamous Crimson Bounder. Morning, Eleanor. No one tries to take my property and gets away with it. Were I to have my way, we'd simply march you off to the gallows and be done with it. Charles. You swore. However, you're in luck. My bride-to-be has implored me to spare your life. And normally I'd simply have to refuse, but this morning I'm feeling rather sporting. My right hand Sinclair's skill with the blade is rivaled only by my own. If you manage to defeat him, you're free to go on your way, having paid for your insolence in entertaining me and my lady. If you don't, well... What'll it be? When do we start? Begin. Well, it appears the stories weren't entirely exaggerated. I must say, you do have quite a skillful touch. So I've been told. Best be on your way before my generosity runs its course, tramp. Poor form to turn your back on an opponent like that, Pemberton. When I made my way into your godforsaken fortress last night, I swore I wouldn't be leaving without Eleanor. <laughs> oh, you urchin. Your kind won't stop until you've sullied the entire world with your filth. All we want is a fighting chance. And by all means, Let's give it to you. Eleanor, give us a signal. Do as you're told! Chin up, though. It'll be all right. to let your pretty mouth run when faced with superior swordsmanship.
Lay down your arms and I'll let you live. <laughs> This game is far from over. Drink in this moment. Remember your place. Lower than the dirt beneath my feet. There will never be a place in this world for godless sadness like you. Chin up, love. It'll be all right. You shouldn't have come. If anything had happened to you. I will always come for you, my darling. No matter the peril. 